Hey guys, welcome to Halloween Home Center. Thank you for joining me today. I have my coffee. I thought we would sit down and just have a cozy little chat about homeschooling and the top five reasons why my family chooses to homeschool. So grab your coffee, tea, your beverage of choice, and let's talk about it. About the top five reasons. This is just not my day. We are trying to talk about the top five reasons that I homeschool. If anybody wants to hear it, is this just not meant to be? Is the stars not aligning? Who is she? Look, I'm trying to be a content creator. Why well, won't the universe let me be? <laughs> so, number one, where is my notebook? Come on, this is just, we're just gonna have a cozy chat. And sometimes as mothers and parents, you guys know, cozy doesn't always happen for us. Why? Because we have animals barking, we have children that need us and that wake up or they don't wanna go to sleep or whatever it is. Cozy isn't always on the, the horizon, but look, I've done lit the candle. Is it the black flame candle? Possibly. And we're going to talk about this. So let it just, let's do it. So number one, why we homeschool? We've been homeschooling for about four years. And my children have, as of yet, not been to public school. Things may change. But these are the reasons why currently we are enjoying homeschool and why it works for my family. Just a little note that if you choose not to homeschool for whatever reason, that is totally okay. Education is about what works for you and your family and for your children. So take this with a grain of salt. If you do not homeschool, that is okay. I went to public school and here I am. I, I'm fine. <laughs> so don't, I, I don't want anyone to take offense as if public school is better or worse than homeschooling and that homeschooling is better or worse than public school. This is just my experience with it. So the number one reason, well not number one, one of the reasons, these are in no particular order. As you can tell, this is a little chaotic. It's chaotic energy, but we're just gonna roll with it. Flexible schedules. So, I, and when I say flexible schedules, I mean like if my children get sick, we can have a sick day. If we want to go on a vacation or a random field trip on a Tuesday morning, we can do that. If we need to sleep in a little later or if my kids wake up a little earlier, we can roll with the punches for the day. And that is one of the things that I personally enjoy the most about homeschooling is being able to kind of live life on the edge, so to speak. Meaning that we have a little more freedom on when we are able to do things or, you know, if life circumstances happen, we're able to deal with that as it comes. You know, for example, we've had a really difficult year and so we were able to take the time that we needed to adjust and really just slow down and um, enjoy our homeschool in a more uh, cozy way than being on the go and on the rush. And there's seasons of life for that where things are a little busier and crazier than usual. And that goes along with having a flexible schedule because you can control that. So that's number one. The second reason that we homeschool is exploration. And when I say exploration, I mean literally going out and exploring things together as a family, such as like going on little day trips or field trips or going to a museum or going to the park, things like that, like literally going and exploring things. Or I also mean it like exploring within our home, deep diving into topics that we didn't really plan on learning about, but my kids have an interest in. So we have the time to dig a little deeper. So for instance, if my son is into dinosaurs one day and he wants to talk about the T-Rex, we have the capability of doing a deep dive about that subject. So we have the freedom to explore things, explore our community, our surroundings, and also have exploration within our home when learning new things together. So that's number two. Number three is learning at their own pace. Say it with me, learning at your own pace. That is something that I wish I was able to have as a child from the public school sector because I feel like in my personal experience, I was forced 
to move on from things that I didn't completely understand because we had to remain on track together as a collective group rather than learning at our own pace as singular individuals. So by homeschooling, we are able to learn at their own pace. For example, my daughter is in kindergarten and she is working on third grade math. She's really great at math. And she has the capability to go ahead and move on and learn those things without feeling like she has to kind of stay, that's what I'm looking for, uh, linger back for the rest of the group. She can go ahead and do that. But she struggles with reading a little more. So we are really just taking our time with that and building that foundation. And I'm really more interested in creating a love of learning than trying to rush things or force things and then become resentful to learning. So that is one of the reasons why I love learning at their own pace because we can customize it to what they need at whatever stage of life that we are in. The reason that we homeschool is by creating a sense of togetherness as a family and as a family unit. My children are together all the time. <laughs> they are always together for the most part. So they have really strong fam familial bonds with myself and their dad as well with, as with each other. So the sibling bond is really deep because they have the time to form that and to be together and create memories together. We are able to create a sense of togetherness as a family because we are able to spend time together. But that doesn't mean that there aren't days where we get on each other's nerves and want to rip our hair out. Because those days happen too, and that's okay. That's a part of life. But overall, we are able to have those feelings because we are together to be able to even form those feelings. So, that is number four. Having a sense of just togetherness and enjoying things together. Enjoying the simple things together and the big things together. And just making memories together. The fifth and final reason that we homeschool is because homeschooling to me and to my family, to my husband, to my children, homeschooling is the ultimate freedom for us. Aside from a few state regulations that we adhere to legally, which aren't many <laughs> in our state, each state is different. Ours are very minimal. We are allowed to do whatever we want, when we want, at our own pace, at our own rate, as long as we check those boxes that we are required to do, the rest of the day is ours. We have the freedom to go and explore and learn and be together and struggle together, triumph together, and just be together. And to me, togetherness equates to the ultimate freedom because when I hope that one day when my children look back on their childhoods, that they can remember being together with their family and creating a lifelong time of memories. That's what I hope for. So those are some of the reasons that we homeschool. Those are the top five. There are many more, but these are the ones that stand out to me the most. And like I said, you know, if you don't homeschool, that is okay. It's whatever works for you and your family. No one, neither nor is better than the other. This just is my personal experience and my personal feelings about why homeschooling works for us. So I hope you guys enjoyed this slightly chaotic but cozy video. It's cozy because there's a candle and I, because I said so. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining me. I'm going to drink this coffee at, uh, what is it, 10 o'clock at night and hope that I can go to sleep. So I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.